Okay. Ahora sí. How was your day today? Fine. I hope so. Fine. Fine, teacher. Okay. Fine, teacher. I I am I am checking the the things that you send me. And most of all, I'm just uh, changing the type of, of letters because sometimes it cannot be read well. And there was one that had, was talking about the Espino beach that at the end has the, the, the design was in white. I changed it to color in order to see the beautiful things that uh, she has made uh, put there, and then there are some other minor changes I made in, in other things. Uh, I would like to know if you want me to send them back to you, or if you are going to read it just as I place it. ¿Van a querer que se los devuelva para que puedan leer y ver los cambios que he hecho? ¿O solamente los van a leer justo como, como los sé? Sería bueno que si nos hace el favor, teacher, regresarlo ya corregido. Ok. Por okay. favor, gracias. Today en mi caso, class, ¿verdad? Will... No sé. Ok, today after the class I will send it to you. Eh, solo hubo uno que me mm. mandó que me mandó PDF, ese sí no puedo hacer cambios, porque no tengo para hacer cambios en PDF. Y solo que la gente, cambios en este teacher. Solo la gente que me, que me mandó en PPT, sí le, puse, le pude hacer cambios ahí, pero ese PDF creo que no tiene mayor cambio que hacerlo. Teacher. Diga. Eh, mi Katia, yo se lo mandé con, a a PDF, pero ayer se lo, se lo mandé así en, a su WhatsApp y ayer me, me, me dijo usted los cambios que le tenía que hacer y así ya se los había hecho. Ah, pues, chévere. Uh -huh. Ok, no teacher, problema. thank you. Ok. Now, let's start the class today. The class for today. Okay. Distance and measurement. Okay. Now, repeat after me. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. Great spirits have always encountered violent opposition from mediocre minds. Okay, se entiende, verdad? Se entiende. Sé que hay algunas palabras que son algo raras, pero sí, sure. eh, en general se parece bastante a, al español. Dice, Dígame. They pronounce the word eh, en Mediocre. Encounter. Encounter. No, teacher. Encounter. Encounter. Ok. Encounter. Encounter. Violent opposition. From mediocre mind. O sea, los mediocre grandes espíritus, brains. los grandes espíritus tienen, o, eh, siempre se encuentran tiene? con violen, eh, violentas violentas. oposiciones de, de mente mentes mediocres. Okay, teacher. Albert Einstein knows about that. <laughs> okay. Section for distance and measurement. Okay. Uh, let me ask you one thing. 
Have you seen uh, Nayib Bukele's um, speech at the ONU yesterday? Mm. Yeah. No, teacher. No, teacher. Well, try to find it. Uh, if I, if you want, I can share it with you at the, at the WhatsApp. But try to find it. Uh, he has uploaded it in Facebook. I watch it directly from from ONU, and I was wow. <laughs> But he is very lovely because he today he placed one thing and he he put in in Facebook that the best moments from his from his all the highlight moments from his speech at ONU and the thing that he places was his daughter applauding his and and smiling at him <laughs> and actually i like that that part also because it seems like he knows what he was talking about okay uh, distance and measurement i know that many people in, in el salvador don't like uh, Nayib Bukele. Uh, from other countries, uh, they don't like him neither. But, well, not a lot, some people, but some people that speak a lot. Uh, but to tell you the truth, he is giving us back our country. And I guess that is something to be grateful for because United States and other countries have made a mess in our country. And we have to restore everything, but we need to do it by ourselves. Don't let other people uh, take advantage of us. And we need somebody like him to stand and say, stop. Because all other people uh, can be by with money and they do whatever they want with us and nobody say no more. Okay. And only for that reason, it's good that we have him right now as, as a president. Imagine if we were during this pandemic time with somebody that only cares about money, just what happened in the United States. They have much more people dying from COVID than in El Salvador and also in Europe, because all the presidents they had only care about money. He cares more about people. And we have to say that. Okay. Well, here in Panama, I follow the advices from El Salvador. <laughs> because here in Panama, they also get get to the to all those precautions later than in El Salvador. Okay. So if I don't get COVID, was because I was following the regulations from El Salvador, even when I was living somewhere else. Now, distance and measurement here from Panama to Muscadaba Harbor by playing 11 hours, 25 minutes, okay, by playing. That's the distance, not in kilometers, 
by in hours. Okay, because sometimes you can measure in kilometers, sometimes you can measure in how many hours it will take you to get somewhere. Okay. For example, from from my home to my son's school. It depends on the day, on the on the uh, hour of the day, how long will it take? Because early in the morning, when everybody is going to Panama City for either or both of both of, of our highways, it it takes about fifty minutes for me to get from my home to his school, 50 minutes or an hour. And in the afternoon, when there is no traffic, it takes me only 10 minutes. So it's the same distance, but it depends on the traffic, how uh, quickly I can get there, okay? Because the same distance, cannot be the same um, uh, amount of time to get to some places. Now, let's objective. In this conversation, the use of questions with how will be introduced by asking about distance and measurement, okay? How? Now, repeat after me. No, no, no. Listen. Just listen first, follow the reading, and later uh, we will do the conversation. Okay? Now, just listen first. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what? what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,000. 800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Now, listen and repeat. I'm going to Australia next year. I'm going to, I'm going to Australia, Australia next year. year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Aren't you Aren't from you Australia, Australia, Beth? Por ahí escuché a alguien que nunca lo había escuchado, pero después me cayó. ¿Qué pasó? No quiso seguir leyendo. O hay mucho ruido alrededor. Un, un, un señor con una voz muy seria. Nunca lo había escuchado. Ok. Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, 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 o
it has no has no fans and it's very mountainous and it's very mountainous really how high are the mountains really really how high are the mountains well the highest one is mount cook well, well, the highest, the highest one, one, Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. It's about, about 3,800 meters high. Meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Mm. Mm. Bar well, I live in Auckland. Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Oh. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Well, well maybe, maybe I should visit you next year, year too. too. Alguien ha entrado a, a ver esta conversación? Not teacher. Not teacher. No. Es que no, no estoy segura si son dos kilómetros. Siento que de Australia para Nueva Zelanda es demasiado. Well, maybe it is that way. Okay. Now, if you notice, these are uh, satellital, satellital views. I take them. This is me in Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, this is Australia, this is New Zealand, okay, and here this is India, okay, okay. Uh, this is Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, okay. <laughs> I have translated recently a book that is talking about Papua New Guinea problem. They have serious problems because Indonesia uh, has taken the half of Papua, okay? This uh, west side is from is belongs to Indonesia, and they really they are really 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 bad to the people that uh, to the original people from there. And the thing is that they have um, resources and they want to take control over the resources so the mining all the things there and there is some uh, petroleum and gas also at, at the in the ocean okay but it it's a pity that other countries just take advantage of your resources and that's why they invade you. It's a really a, it's a piece. And Australia is closer to Papua, but they don't take advantage of them. But they didn't want to have problems with Indonesia. So it, it was a nice historical book. I love to translate it. And I am translated another part, another 
book from the same author right now. Well, now uh, I want to repeat this with you again, but now all the boys will be Scott and all the girls will be best. I will be both, okay? Now, repeat after me. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from I'm Australia? I'm going to Australia next year. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Aren't you from Australia? Now, Beth, all the girls, okay? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Actually, Actually I am from New Zealand. Now the boys. Oh, I didn't know that. So oh, what I is didn't. like? Oh, I didn't know oh, that. Didn't so know what's that. it? What's it's what's like it's like here? So what is like there? So what is like there? Now all the girls. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's, oh beautiful. it's beautiful. beautiful. It has lots of farms. It, it has, has lots, 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 lots of farms. Farm. And it's very mountainous. Uh, it's very mountainous. All the boys. Really? 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 How high are the mountains? How high are the mountains? Now, all the girls. Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. It's about 3,800 meters high. 3,800 meters high. 3,800 meters high. 3,800 meters high. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Well, maybe we should visit you next year too. Okay. Now, volunteers. Me, teacher Katia. Okay, Me Katia teacher. and Miguel. Miguel. Okay, Miguel, go first. Yes, let's go. I am going to. Australia next year. I don't know. You from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, so what you like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest are Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is now Ceylon from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland it's about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit it June next year too. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, okay. thank next, you teacher. Next, Daisy, Sarai, and 
cruel. Uh, William Livorio, could you help us? Okay. Uh, just, just wait a second. I need to do something now that I remember. Because if I don't do this, I will have problems when I finish with you. Okay. Now. Because remember that I get in and then I have to get out and start the, the recording again. So if I don't... Um, let the... the video convert, then when I finish with you, it doesn't do it uh, automatically. That's why I have to do it right now. Okay. But now presentation. Can you see the presentation again? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. And let me see. Let me see one thing. I have to check if we are. If we are still. Yes, it is still recording. Because sometimes this thing, if you touch something, it stops. <laughs> now, Mr. Liborio, you go first. Okay, teacher. I am going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's very mountains. Really? Mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit your next year, too. Okay, thank you. Next year, next year. Okay, now other two volunteers. Mr. Oscar Armando, and who else? Who else? Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Oh, who, 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 who wants? No, teacher, yo ya pasé, pero como le iba a decir que si me ponía al revés, que yo fuera Scott y my partner Oscar Beth. 
Okay. 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 I am going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like here? There, perdón. There. Oh, it's beautiful. It has, it has lots and fun. At least very mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mountain Cook. It's about 300. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Hakon, and Hakon is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Okay, now. Uh, now, uh, Miguel Angel. Uh, Jessica Janet, please. Okay. Okay, I am going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia? Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farm and it's very mountainous. Really? Mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about uh, three thousand. Three thousand. Thousand. Eighty. 800, 800, 800 meters high. Mm, how far is, is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. In Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I'm sure. Is it you this year? Too. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other, you, other volunteers? No volunteers? Me. Okay, who is me? Alba. Okay. Eh, let's see. Ricardo de Jesus, could you help us? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to Australia next year. I, aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is lighter? Beth? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of fun. And it's very mountainous. 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 Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's above 3,008. 
Hmm. How far is New Zealand, New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 200 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I shall visit you next year too. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue. By the end of this session, you will learn to ask and answer questions with how. Okay, now repeat after me. There are many questions we can ask with how. There are many questions, there are many questions we can ask with how. There are many questions we can ask with no how. This time we are going to ask questions re related to distance. This time measurement. Measurement. Description and condition. Description and condition. Okay. How far is New Zealand from Australia? How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers. It's about 2,000 kilometers. 1,200 miles. 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers. It's, it's 648 square kilometers. 254 square miles. Two hundred square miles. Okay. Remember the miles are bigger than the kilometers. That's why the number is smaller. Okay. Now, how high is Manco? It's three thousand. Is three thousand seven hundred seven hundred forty meters high. Forty meters high. 12,000 250 feet. 250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,000 it's about it's about nine hundred meters deep. No. Nine hundred meters deep. Six thousand. Six thousand. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred feet. How long is the Mississippi River? How long is the Mississippi River? It's about. It's about. Five thousand nine hundred seventy kilometers long. 
It gets up to about. It gets get up to get about, about twenty-three degrees Celsius. Twenty-three degrees Celsius. Teacher, repeat. Degrees seventy-four degrees Fahrenheit. Es nuestro mismo, ¿cómo se llama? Este, nosotros le decimos eh, centígrados. Entonces, alguien me dijo que los centígrados y los celsius eran lo mismo. Yo me acuerdo cuando yo estudié que nos decían que eran diferentes, pero no sé cuánta es la diferencia. Pero ahora, en esta época, se toma como que los celsius y los centígrados son iguales. Así que ya no me ando complicando. Lo que sí sé que son diferentes son los Fahrenheit. ¿Verdad? Entonces, y de eso sí me, me, me percato bastante, porque cuando esté horneando, eh, tengo que fijarme si la receta dice que son Fahrenheit o si dice que son centígrados. Porque si los pongo la cantidad de centígrados como Fahrenheit, quemo las cosas. <risa> Ok. No. Teacher. Yeah. Repeat the, the word centígrados. Centígrados es en base no, a, ese, a la, ese es a la Celsius. del agua. El, el mm. centígrados es eh, centígrados. Sí. Ah, pero okay. eh, pero esto, el, 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 el cerito este, se, se dice degrees. Degrees. Okay. Degrees. Degree. 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 Uh -huh. Degree. Ah, okay, teacher. Thank you. Es, es similar a como también cuando tú estudias y, y sacas, digamos, una licencia. Entonces es a bachelor degree. Teacher. Mm, bachelor okay, teacher. degree. Thank you. Y teacher. cuando sacas una maestría y a magister degree. O sea, dígame. En las calculadoras sale eh, cuando son, eh, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Mediciones de ángulos. Sale Ajá. degree y sale centígrados y sale radianes. O sea, por eso es que muchas veces no puede ser igual, ¿verdad? Centígrados que degree. Porque en las calculadoras salen esas tres posiciones. Ah, oh, uh -huh. No, ¿Qué? pero en el, en el caso, en el caso de el, el, el cerito este, sí, eh, degree, se, se toma degree. como grados y el grado sí. es degree. Sí, y otra cosa, el centígrado es en base a la evolución del agua. Sí. Así es. Pero los Fahrenheit son diferentes a los Celsius. Claro. Yes, teacher. Ok, mm -hmm. now, how cold is it in the winter? How cold is it in the winter? In the winter. It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius. It goes down, it goes down, down to about 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, 10 degrees Celsius. 
this is degrees 50, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, how far is New Zealand from Australia? How far is New Zealand from Australia? How big is Singapore? How big is Singapore? How high is Mount Cook? How, how high, high is Mount Cook? How deep is the Grand Canyon? How, how deep, deep is the Grand Canyon? Canyon? How long is the Mississippi River? How, how long is the Mississippi long River? River? How hot is Oakland in the in the summer? Okay, it's in. In how, the summer. How, 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 how hot is Oakland in the summer? How hot is Oakland in the summer? Okay. Um, how cold is it in the winter? How cold, how cold is it in, in, in the, the winter? winter? Okay, if you notice how is one of the um, WH words that can be used in different forms in order to ask for different things. Okay, but for example, where is donde? O sea, where is solo para lugares. When is for time. What is like general information? Why is por qué? Okay, but how? Why? How depends on uh, which, which other word you put it, and it can be asking for different information because WH questions you are requesting for information. O sea, con las WH questions, words, usted está preguntando por información. But uh, how is the one that with the other word that you put with it, it can be asking for different things. For example, how far, que tan lejos. How big, que tan grande. How high, que tan alto. How deep, que tan profundo. How long, que tan, que tan eh, largo. Este, largo, uh, extenso. Largo. How hot, que tan caliente. caliente. How cold, que tan frío. Frío. ¿verdad? Entonces, este, es como de los más... Eh, ¿Cómo que se llama esta palabra? Um, que... Puede, puede variar de una. Más variados. El mapa de los más variados. Ok. And this is the pattern. How adjectives, verbs, and Verb. complements. Ok. How tall are you? ¿Qué tan alto eres? How far is her house from here? ¿Qué tan lejos está su casa de aquí? Ok. And this is for the discussion box. Answer this question. How big is your country? How okay. big your country? How, big is your country? How tall are you? Okay. In my case, How I am I am one meter sixty four centimeters. I am oh. I am one meter sixty four centimeters tall. When I was young, oh. when I was young, I feel that I was very tall. But now that I am old, I feel that I'm very, uh, like, uh, average. I'm average now. When I was young, I feel that I was very tall because uh, when I was in second grade, I was taller than my teacher. <laughs> because I, I, I didn't, I didn't get uh, any taller from my 11th 
birthday. So I am this tall and this big since I was 11. So I was very tall for me in that time. And now my children are one, one meter 72, the, the, the smaller. And the other one is one meter 84. And the other one, one meter 82. I don't know. Samuel is already 92. That is very cool. I had to use very high heels in order to be almost like that. Okay. Remember that we talk about the usual order of adjectives, okay? Uh, this is something that if you want to go to to, to study uh, in other in other places, they will ask you for the TOEFL or the TOEIC test, and in that test they will ask you for this thing, okay? Because you may use a different adjectives in the same sentence. Okay, but you always have to put the things in this order. Okay, first, for example, opinion, then the size, after that the shape, then the condition, uh, uh, age, color, pattern, origin, material, purpose, and then the noun. Remember that all these adjectives are uh, talking something about the noun. But maybe you cannot use all of them. But for example, here in the first one, they use all of them. They say ugly is an opinion, ugly, small is a size, thing is the shape. Dirty is the condition. Old, red, tripped, Italian, cotton, sleeping bag. So they are talking about a bag, a sleeping bag. Okay. So, uh, that's the purpose. Then I, I have some usual order of adjectives here, okay? It, those are examples uh, of each of them. You have to say first how much, then the opinion, after that uh, uh, the size, shape, age, color, the pattern, origin, material, and then the noun. Okay, and this is like an exercise for you to put in order, but I made this one for you. Se lo voy a mandar por WhatsApp. It's the same exercise, but uh, that you can correct it. Uh, it, it, it can be corrected automatically. No se quiere pegar. Espere. Ahí le voy a dar clic. Creo que ahorita que estoy con ustedes en llamada no me vale. No, no me ve. Bueno, 
Later, I will try to send it to you to the WhatsApp. Or when you receive the 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 PPT, you can take it from it from there. Okay. And now let's go to the knowledge check. Uh, the one that I uh, show you first is something that is not uh, it's not a must. No es una obligación porque no es de la plataforma, sino que es algo que yo hice aparte. Entonces, este sí es obligatorio, okay? Now Write the questions to this answer. Remember to use how. Start your questions with an uppercase letter that is mayúscula, okay? ¿Les estoy compartiendo o no? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now. Eh, and Angel Falls is 979 meters high. Entonces, ¿qué creen que es la pregunta? How high is Angel Falls? How high is Angel Falls? Angel Falls. How high is Angel Falls? Okay. Now, let's see. Number two. California is about 403,974 kilometers. How, how long? How big is California? Ah, yes, how big? How big? Okay. Now, the Nile is six thousand six hundred. 70 kilometers long. How long, How long is the Nile? The Nile. Anna. Okay. And the question mark. Now, what about Washington, D.C. get up to about uh, 32 degrees Celsius in the summer. In the summer. How hot is Washington in the summer? In the summer. Only Washington teacher. Now DC teacher. Sin DC. Sin DC. DC. No. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Eso significa que ya lo hicieron y le están dando copia verdadera. Sí, sure. And uh -huh. the three, I don't know, the, uh, the Neil, uh, and I, I don't remember. Uh, upper. Mayúcula. Upper case. My, upper case. Okay, teacher, thank you. ¿Así? Okay. Yes. Anita María no. Miren, me la puso mal. La coma. La coma, eh, señor. Le quito la coma. No. Okay. 
Okay, you were right. Congratulations, teacher. <laughs> you congratulations, you are good. <laughs> I, I did it wrong. <laughs> okay. Now, everybody has the, the, the answer? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, for tomorrow, I, remember that I will be sending you today the uh, today's PPT for this class. And if you can uh, try to make the the um, the the other the other exercise there, and we will check it tomorrow. Okay, the one that is for 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 the real the real order of the adjective okay i will be sending you the ppt right now and copy the thing and paste it in the browser and you will be redirected to the to the form okay and Tomorrow we will check it. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Take care. See you tomorrow. And remember that I will be sending you also the PPTs that I'm already corrected, and uh, for you to to read it tomorrow. But I will be presenting them here as I presented mine. Okay. Be okay, ready for teacher. tomorrow. And if we don't finish, we finish on, on Friday because remember that we have tomorrow and Friday class as well. Take care. Bye bye. Okay, teacher. Good night. Bye. bye. Teacher. See you. Teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye.